Good morning and welcome to our Monday morning devotional. Today is October 19th, Monday, October 19th. And my name is Rob Thompson. I'm the Adult Discipleship Minister here at Mount Gilead. And we do these devotionals uh, each day of the week, including Saturday at 9 a.m. We have uh, different, <coughs> pardon me, different staff members uh, that share. And um, so we invite you to, to join us each, each morning at nine to get your day started. And uh, also, hopefully, you were able to join us yesterday for Kent's message. We had services here at the Worship Center at 9 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. And Kent Phillips, our Connections Minister, delivered a, a wonderful message of truth. So hey, uh, hopefully, you were able to uh, view that either here with us in the Worship Center or through our live stream. And if you haven't watched it yet, please uh, look that up on our website. Watch that message. A wonderful time of worship yesterday, so hopefully you're able to join us. Today, I would like to look and share uh, from Ephesians chapter 4. And I, my background is education and uh, educational psychology and learning, how we learn, how we develop. And I really love to look at that uh, from a, a biblical uh biblical Christian worldview, a biblical lens. And so if you look at the, the literature, uh, the research and educational psychology, a lot of uh, developing theorists or developmental theorists suggest that learning is a cognitive process, which we, we're not going to argue with that, a cognitive process that takes place in a social context. So these are social contexts or settings where people are engaged, uh, groups, maybe small groups like we have here at our church, uh, culture, and also Christian fellowship, Christian worship, just like our time yesterday of learning uh, when we get teaching from the pulpit. Learning uh, within the social context can influence our perception and our development as we grow as Christians and disciples. It can influence our worldviews, um, how, we, how we look at the world, how we, uh, on a daily basis. Um, so it's, it's important in our development. So for instance, we can allow the Lord to shape our worldview and continuing development as disciples when we invest time in the Word, and this is not new to us, we know this, invest time in the Word, um, really exploring the truth of Scripture in prayer, meditation, and then in fellowship with other believers. This is, this is crucial uh, to our development. So we look at Ephesians chapter 4, and I love uh, all of Ephesians, it's, it's a fantastic uh, book in the Bible, but look at Ephesians chapter 4, we're looking at verses uh, 11 through 16. It was he who gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors and teachers, to prepare God's people for works of service, so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God, and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of men in their deceitful scheming. When I read this, I think of having discernment and being able to just find our way through the weeds and some of the, a lot of the misinformation, for instance, that we get from, uh, from social media and uh, from our mass uh, mainstream media, uh, sometimes uh, the deceitfulness, uh, the propaganda, uh, but having discernment, the discernment of Christ uh, in our lives. So um, become mature, attaining the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Uh, then no longer toss back and forth. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will in all things grow up into him who is the head, that is Jesus Christ. From him the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. So a Christian, according to scripture, is a disciple or an apprentice 
of Jesus Christ who is continually learning how to unite, how to mature in our walk, developing a deep and a meaningful relationship uh, with the Lord Jesus Christ. And Dr. Bobby Harrington stated this uh, in his work in 2019, stated this, a person cannot be a Christian without being a disciple. It would be like trying to be human without breathing. And so that's one of the things that we concentrate here on here at Mount Gilead is helping people become disciples. And we do that also through MG University, through classes that we offer. And this is just a reminder that November 1st, we're rolling out our new uh, curriculum and the first class is exploring discipleship. And we're actually gonna have two classes. We're gonna have a class for women and a class for men. So we really encourage you to uh, sign up November 1st, it's a Sunday. Classes will be from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m., just an hour here at the church. So if you have uh, children, uh, youth age children, they can come and participate in our youth activities. While they're in those youth activities, you can take a class. Elaine Angermeyer will be teaching the class for women and I will teach the class for men. Exploring discipleship, just a great time of fellowship together and just growing as disciples. So we invite you uh, as we um, do what these developmental uh, theorists suggest and, and come together and learn together. Not only do these, uh, these theorists suggest this, but this is what scripture suggests as well as we, as we live out our lives as disciples of Jesus. So let's have a word of prayer to get our day started. Righteous Father, we thank you so much for the word for the truth, for biblical truth that we have right here that we can come to, that we can go to, that we can read daily, that we can study, and then that we can explore deeper uh, with other believers, whether in small groups or in classrooms <coughs> or in worship here <coughs> on Sunday mornings. Father, we ask that you go with us today and this week. Help us to grow and develop and become the disciples that you want us to be, the disciples that you created us to be, help us to, uh, to fulfill that calling you have on our lives. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a great week. Sorry for my uh, little rough throat here, just some allergies. And, uh, but anyway, have a great week.